Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump named worst Nazi in history for what he did first thing Monday morning. President Donald Trump hit the ground running on Monday morning with a move that has already gotten him labeled the worst Nazi in history. You're going to love this. Liberals were irate when, in a show of solidarity with our nation's closest ally, President Donald Trump announced his decision to officially move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, effectively recognizing it as the capital of Israel. Trump's decision to declare Jerusalem the capital of Israel and relocate the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv is contentious for Palestinians, who hope to claim part of the city as their future capital. The city is also home to deeply holy sites for Jews and Christians. On Monday, which marked the 70th anniversary of the founding of the State of Israel, the U.S. officially relocated its embassy to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. President Donald Trump did not attend the ceremony in Jerusalem's Arnona neighborhood, sending his daughter Ivanka and her husband Jared Kushner in his stead, but in a video message broadcast at the event, the president congratulated Israel, saying the opening had been a long time coming. Today, Jerusalem is the seat of Israel's government. It is the home of the Israeli legislature and the Israeli Supreme Court and Israel's prime minister and president, the president said in his address. Israel is a sovereign nation with a right like every other sovereign nation to determine its own capital, yet for many years, we failed to acknowledge the obvious, the plain reality that Israel's capital is Jerusalem. According to CNN, politicians and dignitaries including Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner watched as U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin unveiled the U.S. seal, turning what was formerly the consulate building into the embassy. We believe, it is possible for both sides to gain more than they give so that all people can live in peace, safe from danger, free from fear, and able to pursue their dreams," said Kushner. Jerusalem must remain a city that brings people of all faiths together. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu thanked President Donald Trump for his support hours ahead of the opening ceremony, saying, What an amazing day! Thank you, at POTUS Trump. Speaking at the ceremony, Netanyahu hailed the alliance between America and Israel as stronger than ever. He said, What a glorious day! Remember this moment. This is history, President Trump by recognizing history, you have made history. All of us are deeply moved, all of us are deeply grateful. As the Daily Caller's Benny Johnson noted on Facebook, Donald Trump is literally the worst Nazi in history for moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem in a move of solidarity with Israel, even when this was not a popular decision amongst the American left, foreign leaders from around the world, and governing bodies like the United Nations. Donald Trump has been called a racist and a Nazi ever since he first announced his candidacy for President of the United States in a speech which took aim at the criminal illegal aliens flooding into the U.S. through our poorest southern border. While the then-candidate was absolutely right that many of the illegal immigrants who come to our country are rapists and murderers, the left took issue with his politically correct honesty, labeling him a racist, a bigot, a Nazi, and a slew of other derogatory things. However, as Benny Johnson noted, if Trump is a Nazi, he's literally the worst one to have ever existed. For one, his daughter Ivanka, son-in-law Jared, and three of his grandchildren are Jewish. Trump not only respects their religion, but he is tremendously close with all of them. Does that sound like a Nazi? Likewise, the president has worked to establish closer ties with Israel ever since his inauguration, strengthening a bond with the Jewish capital of the world which his predecessor Barack Obama had systematically worked to destroy during his eight years in office. Does that sound like a Nazi? Trump also works diligently to ensure that the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding Americans are not infringed. That would be problematic if he were, in fact, a Nazi, as Hitler disarmed his people so that they could be controlled by a tyrannical government. All of the evidence suggests that President Donald Trump is literally the worst Nazi in history, but will liberals take a look at the facts and stop insinuating that he is one? I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. After all, no one has ever accused a liberal of employing much common sense. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.